You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. Brody Rinalette, Teen Racer by Sheila Roberts. Read by Jody Shackleford. Sponsored by First National Banking Company. Brody Alexander Rinalette may only be 14 years old, but he has been racing most of his life. Whether it was go-karts or dirt bikes, and now a stock car at the West Plains Motor Speedway. Brody lives most of the year in Peoria, Illinois with his parents, but his summers are spent in the Hardy, Arkansas area with his grandfather, Glenn Smithy. While his go-kart and dirt bike racing honed his talents and coordination, Brody's weekend trips to the dirt race track with his grandfather created a desire in him to drive a dirt track race car. Glenn Smithy used to drag race in earlier years, so when his grandson mentioned he'd like to race cars, that is all it took for Glenn to be on board with the idea. Glenn went out and purchased a 1980 Monte Carlo, and at that time, Brody had never driven a stick shift, but it didn't take him long, only about four days to get the hang of it, and he was off to the races, literally. In 2010, he ran in three races at the West Plains Motor Speedway, about five miles south of West Plains, 40 miles from Hardy on US 63, while this summer, he has already run seven races so far. Brody races in the hobby stock class in a customized car with a 355 small block engine that powers the car for competition. There are not enough young men in his age group for him to race in the 12 to 16 group. So most of the time, he is racing at the back of the lineup of more mature drivers. Brody is now 10th in points out of 25 racers and has already won several trophies. I asked Brody if his parents, Tim and Carrie, had watched him race. He said they came to watch his last race, the Friday, July 1st race, and he finished ninth out of 16 for that competition. I asked him what his mother had to say about him racing cars, and he said she almost had a heart attack. Brody is the oldest of five siblings. His sisters, Addison, Emma, and Miranda, hold him in high esteem, along with his younger brother, Brandon. Brody says if any of them follow suit, it'll probably be Brandon, who's now 10 years old. Glenn said that Brody's grandmother, Carol, of Hardy, Arkansas, and the whole family is supportive of Brody racing cars. Mr. Smith tells me that drivers win money according to their placement. He believes the sport is very safe. He tells me that back in the 50s and 60s, many people died in vehicles, but because of new technology, cars are built to be safer now on the roads and on the track. The heat races include eight fast laps of each class of cars. Those determine the car's placement in the future race, which makes up 20 laps. While lastly, Brody finished fourth in the heat race, he will still line up at the back in the feature race because of his age. Then the hobby stock car event starts. Brody's at the back of the lineup, but before it is over, a car is spun out. Mr. Smithy explains if this happens twice to a driver, he can be pulled out of the race. More cars go out of the race, and Brody is running a smart race. Mr. Smithy says a month ago, the older drivers could have lapped him five or six times. He's improved so much in the last month he hasn't been lapped lately. Mr. Smithy is very appreciative to the sponsors who support Brody in his endeavor, including local businesses, Tim's Restaurant of Ash Flat, Carol's Clothing of Highland, and B&B Clocks of Hardy, as well as Summit Asset Management of Memphis, Tennessee. I think we should keep an eye on this little man with a whole lot of grit. He has aspirations of driving the NASCAR circuit, and you can see him just about any summer weekend out at the West Plains Motor Speedway. He, with his grandfather, will likely be somewhere around a white Monte Carlo with the number 14 painted on the side, and with Mr. Smithy teaching him as they work together on his race car. <laughs>